Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how I achieved this flawless face makeup, how I contour and do all of that, how I do my face, which I really don't show in any of my videos. I think I should, might show it in my first, anyway. I don't really show it in any of my videos unless you're really hunting for it. So here it is today, how I contour and how I bake, what I choose to bake, and bronzer and all that jazz. It'll be here in this video right here. So let's get into it and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit in the color, or in the shade Slight. You can already see which colors I'll be using. I usually use these two and sometimes I'll go into this one just a little bit. And I use this kind of like flat, let me cut my face, <laughs> my flat, um, what, eyeshadow brush? I don't know. It's pretty big to be eyeshadow, but it's what I use to contour. Okay, so going in with this light shade, I'm just gonna grab some and put it all underneath my eye. And I kind of form like a triangle <laughs> under my eye. And I go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. And getting just a little bit more of the exact same shade, I'm going to line the middle of my nose. I know there's a lot of people that make like contouring your nose a super science, but I really like, I don't do all that. I just line the outside and with the darker shade and line the inside with the lighter shade and call it a day. Um, I put some in my forehead just to lighten up my forehead a little bit. Now I come down to my chin and I put a little bit like down at my jaw. Okay. Now going in with the darker shade, this one right here, I'm going to get some of that, or a lot, and just kind of bring it down like that, kind of form a Y and then fill in the empty space. Contouring is definitely not something I do all the time. I used to do it all the time when I first started out doing my makeup. But I got tired of doing all that, so I stopped. It's okay. Then I'm gonna line the top of my forehead. Just like a little bit. I don't need to do a lot. And down the outside of the nose, like I said before. And then I get to blending. Sometimes I'll switch back and forth between this like blender brush and my actual foundation brush. Just because I feel like this is a little more heavy handed. My foundation brush to really, you know, like get in there. But, well, you know what, I'll start with this and see how I feel. And I'll probably switch. Okay, so if you didn't notice, I really just go around and do all one shade at a time just because I don't know, I feel like maybe I have OCD about that because I don't want to like, oh, I'm doing the light and I touch the dark and then I go to do this light and it's not the same. I don't know. It could all just be in my head, but yeah. 
Now I'm gonna go in and do the the dark shade and just blend everything out till it makes me happy. For this, I'll probably do my foundation brush. All my blending is done. I'm pretty much happy with how everything came out. I'm gonna show you guys how I put the finishing touches on everything just so I look like an actual person. Because in person right now I look, I feel like I look pretty weird. So just to keep on blending, I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And I'm going to I'm going to grab this little sponge. It doesn't have to be a beauty blender. I got this from the 99 cent store in like a really big packet. <clears throat> and I grab like that much. I don't know if you can see. There you go. Like that much. And I'm just gonna come down here and line that up a little bit. So yeah, now I'm gonna go in with the sand brush that I used to contour, grab some of the powder. And I really just like, I don't, I only bake like this little bottom half of my face. Everything else, I feel like it gets super white. So I just kind of set it just so it could smooth everything out makes everything look poreless. Now like, I hope you guys don't think you have to use all the same stuff I use in my videos. Besides my eyeshadow palettes, everything else has been pretty much, it was all bought for me when I first started out doing um, makeup. My cousin, She's also a YouTuber. She saw what I was doing and she was like, hey, let me buy you all this stuff. Like send me your Sephora cart. And so, you know, me being me, I was like, girl, you do that. You buy that Sephora cart. And they did, her and her family blessed me with pretty much everything I own which is probably bad because that's that was like a while ago so <laughs> i should probably get more stuff it's probably a lot of it's probably expired but mm. but yeah so i'll leave the link to her page in my description she's really bomb she taught me everything i know she was telling me for the longest, at least fake YouTube videos, fake YouTube videos. And I was like, girl, no. And then I was like, you know what? I have this job. Let me save my little chips and I'm going to get the stuff I need. And she was kind of like, no, don't do that because you don't know if you're going to like it. So like use my setup. So the first, I think my first two videos are actually filmed in her bathroom. And that was the start of Elise Gonzalez YouTube Extraordinaire. So yeah. Anyway, go check her channel out. She's super bomb. If you're um more of the deeper skin tones, she's got you. She uses like product wise, she can tell you what to use. What products are super pigmented and work for her, you know. Now I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Forever bronzer. There we go. And just finish off. This is like finalizing my, my dark parts of my contour. 
anything that might have been washed away with all the blending and baking powder. There you go. I really have lost like my entire train of thought. Didn't know what I was trying to say to you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, stay tuned for my